Glock 45, MOS. Ah, little jam. I do have Sterling steel case. I'm running that in both of those. And if any of you people say I limp wrist, it did go into battery. If any of you people say I limp wristed, I'm coming out of your computer screen to get you. Stove pipe. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a range comparison with the Glock 45 MOS versus the Kimber Carbon Compact. Both very nice guns. Let's start with the frame. Both very nice frames. Kimber has a carbon fiber infused matrix. That's what they call it. But it, it's stronger than the polymer frame on the Glock. Did I do drop tests? No, but it's carbon fiber. If you think about it, a lot of hockey sticks are made out of carbon fiber. And those take a lot of abuse before they are either cracked or split somehow. I think this is a better frame. I like to grip texturing better on the Kimber right here. It's, it's all throughout. It does have four back straps. Glock does offer back straps here. Texturing, not too bad, but not as fine as the Kimber. So I want to give a shout out to Kimber with the, the grip texturing and that huge undercut right there at that indentation. So when you grip this, it just, it feels so nice with a higher grip. Not so much on the Glock, but let me give a shout out to the Glock. This is an MOS. Now the MOS models are a bit more expensive, but you get four different optic plates. And I have a, a Swamp Fox Justice on here, but you have four different optic plates and all those variants offer a variety of optics as where the Kimber is cut to fit a RMSC. It is a direct mount though, that's nice, but it has only one footprint that it will accept as where Glock has more. Now, the Glock MOS models are a little bit more expensive, right in the mid 600s. This without the optic is over 700. So you're paying more for it, but you'll have to decide if it's worth it. Let's continue. Has a four inch barrel, 3.9 inch barrel, no great difference there. Both have forward serrations. The Kimber Carbon Compact is ambidextrous. If you're a lefty, you'd probably go with this. Now the slide stop and be with the Glock 45, but the magazine release needs to be switched over and you can do that. It's just an additional step. The trigger, well, it's a Glock trigger and we know that that's okay. Glock 45. And a lot of people switch them out, but it's okay as where this trigger here, I just think it's a little better. It's flat, a little lighter, and it's a little nicer trigger. So give it to the Kimber on the trigger. Kimber Carbon Compact. As far as the sights go, well, Glock has the goal post. Kimber has True Glow night sights. So you have to give it to the Kimber for that. Both shoot incredibly well. Disassemble, both easy, similar, little different. Overall, both nice handguns. This is less expensive, albeit a lot of upgrades you may want, like the sights and the trigger. This is ready to go out of the case. The Glock stands tall when we talk about the magazine capacity. 17 rounds with the longer grip. If we look at the grip length, we'll see it's a little bit longer. Is that showing up? There it is. A little bit longer with the Glock, but 17 rounds. I think Kimber could make a 17 round mag with this. They don't currently. They have the 15 round mag. They do offer two of them. Glock offers three. 17 rounders, so that's nice, but Kimber does have the flared magwell. This, not so much. A little little beveled out, but not, not as much. Kimber Carbon Compact.
Ooh, man. I really like what they offer with this. There's the 15 round mag, offers two of them. Glock 45, MOS. Ah, little jam. I do have Sterling steel case. I'm running that in both of those. And if any of you people say I limpressed, it did go into battery. If any of you people say I lip wristed, I'm coming out of your computer screen to get you. Stove pipe. All right, it went into battery. Yeah, had some problems there. You could claim there's one that didn't want to load. Let's hand load it. You could claim it's shooter's air, but it's not shooter's air, because you just saw the Kimber ate it up. So when I hear Glocks don't fail, well, you just saw a Glock didn't work so well. I like both, I own both. I think they're both great, but if I had to choose one, I'm going with the Kimber Carbon Compact. I, I feel that the recoil reduction, the accuracy in the trigger, along with the night sights, all that, it just takes it over the top for me compared to the Glock 45. This is my favorite Glock though. So by saying I'm choosing this, that, that speaks pretty highly because this is one fine handgun as well. So there it is, I made my choice. Want to know what you think. Do you like the Kimber Carbon Compact or the Glock 45 MOS? Both nice handguns, no doubt about it. I think they both work well. I think it's a good comparison. Had to get them side by side to shoot next to each other to make my decision. My decision was made. Which one do you think? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.